So today I bought a random jersey to decide who we're going to rebuild. I have no idea who it is. I've got the box right here. No, not a sponsor. No, not an ad. I went out, decided, you know what? That's a fun way to choose a team. Let's do it. All right. So I've already ripped the tape off. We're just going to, we're going to pop it open here. I've realized that it was kind of difficult to open. It was like taped here. This was stuck. So let's, let's see who we got here. We have, we have, oh, it's gray. And the only team I know that has gray like this is i think i know who this is oh yeah it's it's autoed by the way and uh, i think you guys can figure out who that auto is from all right so let's just let's just pop it open let's just pop it open um yeah this is a here we are here we are here we are reggie jackson signed jersey so i guess we're rebuilding the yankees so realistically i wasn't expecting the yankees to be honest i was expecting some other random team i don't know the yankees were like the last team on my mind when i was like yeah let me buy a random jersey and see what we get but you know i'm, I'm pretty happy with that reggie jackson signed jersey yeah yeah so yeah let's get into the regular season the yankees one of the best teams in baseball right now you know if not the best in the al uh, maybe just all of baseball. I mean, they're killing it right now. And so, I, I obviously don't want to be a jinx, but for the most part, they've been pretty healthy. I know there's a couple of injuries starting to hit the IL currently. But for the most part, you know, one of the things that, that's been plaguing them throughout the years was injuries and staying healthy. And this year, not too bad, right? So when you look at their team, you know, Garrett Cole, Jameson Tyone, Montgomery, Severino starting to get back into the swing of things post-injury. You've got the best pitcher in baseball, Nestor Cortez. And there's a few others. So, like, again, not bad. Bullpen, probably one of the better ones in baseball if you look at it. I know Chad Green just went on the IL for Tommy John surgery, I believe it is. But then you've got, like, Michael King. Clay Holmes has been decent. There's a couple others as well. Aroldis Chapman is the biggest what if in baseball. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? I believe he's on the IL right now. But like, just he's just the biggest, like, 50-50 coin flip when you throw him in. You got Shioka, you got Jose Trevino, who's, you know, starting to win over the fans like crazy. It just seems like he's a huge fan favorite. Rizzo at first. You've got Glaber, who's starting to get hot again. You've got Josh Donaldson, DJ LeMayhew. At short, you got IKF. In the outfield, you've got, like, the biggest power bats out there in Gallo, Stanton, and then Judge. We're Aaron Hicks, no. But, you know what? I mean, this team's kind of stacked. So... What I'm going to do here is I just want to get to the all-star break. I kind of want to see where we're going to sit. I also want to maybe send someone down. Uh, that's a lot of lefties, but I kind of like having um, maybe like this and then put maybe like Chad Green there and go like that. Luis Ill isn't necessarily someone I want. I know he just went down with an injury. I think it was... Tommy John he just had so he, I guess he could stay there I'm trying to see who else we could go with maybe like a Clark Schmidt but I think I think we're good and then DH outfield all that good stuff let's get Andujar in center they chose to put Andujar in center over Gallo what is this game um also Glaber is gonna be playing DH <laughs> that, that's how it's gonna go so maybe something like I don't even know how the Yankees do their lineup. I'm just going to copy the most recent Yankees lineup that was super healthy. And we're going to go from there. I'll see you guys at the All-Star break. All right, so with the deadline, 66 and 40, things are going pretty well, I would say. And I think I think looking at it, I feel like we need a little bit more. You know, like offensively, not bad. Not bad. I think IKF's kind of our, our weak link. And realistically, they'd probably go to... Where is he? Not Peraza. Where's Volpe? Volpe's down here. Okay, there he is. Okay, so they'd probably go Volpe soon, you know, and that, that's probably why they're not really looking for, like, a long-term shortstop because the Yankees are probably expecting Volpe to come up within the next couple years. So locking up a shortstop, I guess, doesn't make sense. You know, I feel like that would be the case. So what I'm thinking here is, since this is probably only going to be, like, a one or maybe two-year rebuild at most, let's just go crazy. Um, Josh Donaldson's cool and all, but, like, He's regressing pretty quickly. Um, he's also in a, a little bit, you know, he was in the news for some some stuff, some stuff. And I feel like we could maybe, wow, Nestor Cortez is getting rocked. Why is he regressing? He's got beat potential. Get him up, get him up. Why is he getting shelled so much? That's disrespectful. Um, What I might do is, sadly, I might take him out of the, the starting rotation. 
I've just noticed that pitchers with low stamina just don't do as well. So what I'm thinking is let's let's get maybe let's get a, a, a good starter just to really solidify this rotation. Maybe pick up one bullpen arm because for some reason Clay Holmes isn't doing well. And also maybe just like an extra bat. Let's just go crazy this all like this deadline. I might as well, right? Like it, it, at this point, we might as well. Let's let's just see what we can get. Not a lot of good names on the block, so let's just let's just go crazy. All right, I'm gonna take or I'm gonna trade for Brian Reynolds with Aaron Hicks, Domingo Herman, and Connor Cannon going to the Pirates. So we're gonna get a nice little center fielder there. That's what the team's been missing. You know, that's what I've always heard that the the, the Yankees are missing a center fielder. Aaron Hicks, they're not a big fan of right now. He's been he has been pretty bad. He has been bad. It, I'm not gonna lie, that is it. It has been pretty rough. So looking at the team, that automatically just Man, took it up to the next level. Now, I kind of want a... Ooh, what do I want? A pitcher? I did say I wanted a pitcher. Uh, also, Brian Reynolds hasn't been that great this year. So, we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, he puts something together. Because, wow, this could be bad otherwise. So, let's get him into the team. Let's go him and left. And then Stanton at DH. And then maybe something like that. We'll see, we'll see what happens here. But yeah, let's get a pitcher now. So looking at pitchers, I don't really, really know where I'm going to go with this. Like, there's a couple like, okay, like Luis Gil, we've got Clark Schmidt, you got Davey Garcia or Luis Gil. But I, yeah, if I'm trying to win right now, I want someone that's going to like elevate this team. Who could that be? Uh, Frankie Montas? I, he's, he technically is like being thrown out as available. Like, maybe Clark Schmidt has to be thrown into the deal. Let's see who else. Um, I'm just, like, really just trying to throw in, like, players that, like, I don't necessarily need. Like, could I get away with the Peraza? Uh, Oswaldo Cabrera? I was going to say Peraza, but that's not who I meant. Um, I mean, it, it is going to have to be someone that is, yeah, it's going to have to be one of those guys. Unless, let's see here. Davey Garcia gets the deal done. Ooh, I don't, I didn't, I didn't really want to do that. Nobody else, nobody else gets the deal done. You're telling me Miguel Andujar isn't isn't good enough to really sell the deal? Like we can't we can't get the deal done that way. So I I think we are gonna have to throw in. Sadly, I think we're gonna have to throw in one of those pitchers, which is okay. Like I'm trying to win this year. So do I want to get rid of Davey Garcia or? Huh? Or what if? What if, what if, what if? I, I'm gonna figure this deal out. This deal is gonna, this deal is gonna work for us. All right, Davey Garcia, Oswaldo Cabrera, and Jose Mujica are gonna get us Frankie Montas. Davey Garcia, I've looked at his numbers. Ooh, not good. Not good in real life. Wow, I didn't realize it was that bad. I knew he was struggling. I didn't realize. Good Lord. Yeah. Good Lord. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is now Luis Eel gets sent down or Gil. Uh, it's 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 uh, yeah, whatever um yeah yeah so now whoo, look at this team this is this is spicy i'm liking the looks of this open i mean we could probably just go rock without clay holmes maybe send him down but at the same time like clearly it's it's doing work and then offensively now i mean with the addition of brian reynolds into the team like, we're looking really good do we just go all out get a new shortstop or do we leave it as is I feel like if we're gonna go all out we might as well go out have some fun with this rebuild because like uh, it's already just like one of those like super random fantasy rebuilds anyways so like i'm i'm okay making some crazy trades having some fun with it and just seeing what can what can happen with this team so and realistically i i bet if the yankees could have a better shortstop they would be all over it they don't necessarily want to trade away their best players but if they could i, I definitely think they would so question is who are some of those shorts? Who is the shortstop that I could get that would be worth picking up? His 36 home runs at the, the trade deadline. Good Lord. Good Lord. Um, I don't think this is going to be possible. So I think that's out of the out of the mix. Trey Turner is a free agent at the end of the year. Let's. Oh, would you get would you get rid of Oswald Barraza? I think you would. If you could get Trey Turner, I think you would. I think you would so now how how do we get this done i guess tim lo castro gets us kind of close and then maybe like clark schmidt Ooh, we're close we're close okay we're we're really close here 
We're, we're making this happen. Who's going to do it? I don't... I, ah, man. I, I honestly think you would have to throw in Volpe to make the deal done. You'd have to get rid of two top... Two top players. Or two top prospects, I should say. Is this even possible? Jameson Tyone, Michael King. That's the only way to make this deal possible. There's got to be another way. Okay, I lied. It wasn't possible. So let's just get to the end of the year. Maybe we get Trey Turner in the offseason. So 102 and 60 won the division. Perfect. That's what I kind of expected to happen. We're kind of a good team. Kind of expected, right? Like, that, okay, Angels. Why don't you calm down over there? I don't need that kind of competition. Dodgers are going to be good too. So things are looking good. All right. So league leaders. Chapman with saves. I can't believe that. I can't believe that one bit also mike trout hitting 343 mm -hmm. yeah that's that's pretty impressive what about tatis 50 home runs man if tatis could get healthy and stay healthy that'd be nice that'd be appreciated jared walsh with a casual 200 hits mike trout we got freddie freeman triples with o'neill and mullins home runs goes to vladdy and also tatis okay all right, let's see what we got awards wise. Two gold gloves. That was it. So, Vladdy actually was MVP. Wow. Over, over Jared Walsh, who had 122 RBIs, 30 home runs, 30 doubles. I mean, almost 50 home runs for Vlad. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. On base percentage, OPS is great. But then you've got. You've got. Like. Ah, like. Who, Oh, that's a tough one between Vlad and Trout. That is a tough one. And then, I mean, like, NL, you've got Tatis. You've got Freddie Freeman. And then you've got CJ Crone, who, like, casually put up almost 50 home runs. I definitely see him being third. But, like, these two teams, like, these two. Whew. Wow. Okay, Brandon Woodruff and Otani are your Cy Young winners. Somehow, Otani had a... Hmm, Okay. All right, for sure. Trout and Freddie Freeman are your batting title winners. The reliever of the year goes to Devin Williams and Rizel Iglesias. And then rookie of the year, Torkelson and Seth Beer. Okay. Okay. All right. So what do we have going on here? I would assume everything is fine. It is perfectly. All right. The perfectly perfect. Nestor Cortez still going down. Had kind of a rough year. Man, they're doing Nestor dirty. They're doing Nestor dirty. Lucas Lukey, not bad. Or lucky. It might be lucky. Either way, it's not. He had, a, he had a really, really good year. Really respectable year. Michael King with some of the nastiest break on his pitches. Whew. Like to see that. Johnny Lasagna. Pretty solid season. I know in real life he's getting shelled a little bit. But um, or he, I, I guess he's getting like hit hard. I don't think his numbers are terrible. I guess we could look up. Uh, let me, let me, let me do a little low eye. Oh, I. Let's see um what do we got going on oh yeah he's getting yeah he's getting roughed up a little bit he's getting roughed up a little bit he's just yeah a lot of walks a lot of walks and a lot of hits yeah that'll that'll add up yeah that'll that'll hurt you that'll hurt you clay holmes yikes and then zach Britton, chad green and a role is chapman okay what about our starters spider tack man himself garrett cole pretty solid season we got jameson tyone luis severino jordan montgomery and Frankie Montas, who kind of cooled off towards the end of the season. Not a big fan of that one. All right, offense. What do we got here? Josh Donaldson dropped, what, 15 overall? Good Lord. Yikes. Okay. Higashioka, a home run stroker. Not too many home runs there. All right. Tim Locastro, Andujar, and that was it for the bench. All right. What do we got for IKF? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. Kind of what I expected. I was going to put LeMahieu up at the top, but his contact versus righties is so low. And I felt like it probably would be a very similar outcome. So I just left IKF at the top. Judge, great season. Love it. Almost 40 home runs, almost 40 doubles. Rizzo, love it. Perfect. Great season. 37 home runs. I mean, I guess that's possible with the short porch in right field. We've got Stanton with almost 40 home runs. Joey Gallo, not a bad year. Not a bad year for Joey Gallo. Reynolds looked like he kind of turned things around once the season got going. We got LeMahieu, Glaber, and then Jose Trevino. So, again, I, I can work with that offense. I can work with that offense. Is it good enough to win us World Series Season 1? I don't know. I mean, we're, we're holding on. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Next up, the Mariners and we are eliminated? Jesus. Are we just going to go to every... 
elimination game in the series. And we do get eliminated by the Mariners. Wow, the Mariners and the Dodgers in the World Series. Mariners, aren't they in last place in real life? How is that happening? All right, so the Mariners defeat the Dodgers. What is, what kind of craziness is going on? I got to run it back. I can't, I can't, can't leave it there. I can't leave it there. So, yeah, give, give him the contract. Give him what he wants. Joey Gallo, let's do like a, like a three-year deal for Joey Gallo. Sevy, bring him back. Let's do another three-year deal. Hopefully he can stay healthy. Chapman's a weird one. I might go one year. I know this is probably one of those where like Yankees fans are like, please, no, don't bring him back. But let's do one more. And then Jamison Tyone, maybe like a, like a one year prove it deal. I guess I, I feel like that's kind of no, I don't I don't feel like a one year prove it deal would be the move. I just don't know if it is an extension worthy. That's one of those things. Like, is it? Is it like he's, he's had two years, right? Last year was kind of kind of iffy. Like, wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. Like, would this be a player that they bring back? He's having a great year this year. So maybe maybe based on, the, like, the really good year this year, they'd be like, yeah, let's test it out. Chad Green coming off of Tommy John in real life would be one of those where it's like, you bring him back? So maybe he's one of those guys that I'll think about it. And then everybody else I'm going to let walk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about bringing back Chad Green. I don't know yet. So what do we have here? Who didn't sign? Sevy and Tyon. But like, those are good deals. Just take them. All right. So I already have one guy that I want. Trey Turner. I think that's really about it this offseason. I want Trey Turner. So I'm going to get into season two, show you the moves that I make, and then we'll do that. All right. I'm going to acquire Josh Hader. I feel like for some reason he's always linked to the Yankees, even though he's got the, the beard and the hair, which means he would have to shave it. I mean, I guess... I guess that's like a whatever, you know, like, are they really good? Is, is it really going to matter? You get traded to a team. I have a feeling you're going to you're going to make the adjustments needed. So we've got these two bullpens looking good. Honestly, I might just take out like Clay Holmes because he was kind of bad last year. And then I got to take away a couple other players. But I mean, Josh Hader, kind of a, a, a pretty good addition, I would say. Let's see. Andujar needs to be sent down and that should be 26 guys. Ooh, hold on. Let's call up Andujar, I guess. Is that, is that really what I want? And then maybe something like this. Starting rotation is the same. I didn't bring back Chad Green. So the bullpen, a little, little changed. Not too much, though. I did get Trey Turner. And then our bench. Our bench looks pretty good. Our bench looks pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Like, could I make more changes? 100%. But realistically, I mean, you're looking at this team. This team's kind of stacked. I mean, we're ranked first in like almost everything. I mean, I get, it's going to change when I get to the regular season. It is. We're ranked second. Who is first? The the who's first? Is it the Mets? No, the Braves are ranked first. Interesting. Look at look at look at us. We're second, fourth, third, second, sixth, twenty eighth. But the Braves, the Braves are first, twelfth, second, fourth, sixteenth, twentieth. I, 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 maybe the 28th in speed is, re, is really taking us down. I guess so. I guess so. All right. Season two, we got to win a World Series this year. 93 and 69 won the division. So not as good as last year. What were we? 102 last year, which is kind of, yeah, 102. Dang. A little, little worse. A little worse, which is kind of crazy because I thought we had a better team. I guess not. I guess not. I mean, I guess we could take a look around the league. We had the best batting average. We had the most runs, the most hits, the second most triples. What about doubles? Fourth most home runs. We were third. What runs batted in first? So what? Pitching maybe? Let's see here. What do we got going on? ERA. We were ooh, okay. Tenth. Let's see. Shutouts. Not worried about saves. A little lower. Sixteenth. Okay. What about like hits allowed? Okay, so maybe maybe pitching. We were like middle of the road interesting interesting okay all right makes a little sense frankie montas best winning percentage trey turner pretty good season along with joey gallo with 92 walks so trey turner best batting average by quite a bit rizzo in second michael brantley with the orioles interesting interesting we were uh, like me and the boys were talking about it last night actually michael brantley kind of low-key underrated the dude just slaps like that's literally what he does always a crazy high average um just injuries i feel like injuries are a big big hindrance on his career i mean the dude just you just hit 
it's crazy it's crazy so let's see what else we got here tatis was great got hits soto and trey turner that duffy was second in hits okay doubles tatis and ahmed rosario triples was turner and bader home runs soto and vladdy from 50 to 39 39 was second place wow awards what do we have here a bunch of gold gloves and a silver slugger so otani is your mvp this year what did he have pitching wise crazy good pitching here right crazy good pitching here and then offensively solid as well i mean I'll, pff, wow soto on the other hand or on the other side of the league the nl won it i mean yeah yeah it's a good season Flaherty and Otani are the Cy Young winners. Trey Turner, Tatis batting title. You got Gallegos and Sewald or Seawald are the relievers of the year. And then rookie of the year goes to Guillermo Murillo, who was pretty bad. Yeah, he was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, I feel like these other guys would have been better choices, but okay. And then Mackenzie Gore wins it on the NL side. So interesting. What is going on here? It looks like Clay Holmes got called up. So who offensively who offensively got sent down let's see here or oh a couple a couple changes donaldson got sent down he's 63 what okay let's let's get him back into the team Woo. um dang uh i don't think he was up so let's get rid of him and then who was the other am i missing somebody it's 26 right so what who was the pitcher that got sent? I don't think it was him. Did I have him up? No. Who? Oh, oh, um. No, he's right there. Am I? Is this what I had all year? No, it couldn't have been. I. What did I have? I got to think of this through. Because, like, now my mind is just, just not comprehending what I had. Floreal. Floreal, holy cow, Floreal, that's who it was, good lord, wow, okay, um, yeah, it was Floreal, jeez, is it better to have the extra, the extra outfielder, or should we rock with the extra pitcher, I mean, you know what, let's, let's stick with what we have, all right, pitching wise, Nestor, there we, no, kind of, ah, oh man, he had like a three something ERA, pulled off again, why, 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 uh, Lucas Lucky, solid or lucky. I don't know. Miguel Castro, basically the same as what Clay Holmes was putting up. Wow, Johnny Lasagna. Why? 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 Uh, Michael King was solid. Chapman kind of eh. And Josh Hader was pretty solid. I'll take that all day. Eric Cole, pretty similar to last year. Maybe a, a few more runs, but not too bad. Severino, really solid season. Frankie Montas, crazy good year. Love it. Tyone was very good, and then Jordan Montgomery again, solid. I'll take it, especially as a five. Can't can't complain about that at all. So we've got Josh Donaldson, who kind of had a cracked year off the bench. You got Higashioka, Kiner Falefa, and Andujar, who kind of mashed, kind of mashed. All right, and then Floreal was pretty bad, so don't worry about him. Next up, Trey Turner. How do we do this year? Love to see it. Stolen bases, home runs, triples, doubles, you name it. He's got it. Judge. Power numbers dipped a little bit. Did dip a little bit, but still a really good year. Rizzo, really solid. Stanton, yep. Give me more of that. Joey Gallo, 40 home runs and a 269 average. Who is this guy? Holy cow. Brian Reynolds, really good year. Really good year. DJ LeMayhew, same thing. Power numbers, oh, actually, just the doubles went down a little bit. But overall, home runs were there. Yeah, not, not bad. Not bad at all. Actually, power numbers went up compared to last year. Glaber. Took a little bit of a step back. And then Jose Trevino. I mean, we've got a pretty decent team. So like I feel like we can we can get away with a couple couple quiet bats. So we're taking on the White Sox. Trying to look at the playoff picture here. I mean, I feel like we've got a chance. I'm looking at like I I said we got a chance, and like now I'm kind of like looking at it going, ah, do we have a chance? I just feel like kind of weird about it, you know? Um Jordan Montgomery, not gonna start this game, but like, I don't know. You know, when you're like kind of look at something, you're like, you know what? Yeah, this looks pretty good. We've got the Angels and then we've got the Mets or the Braves. Like, I feel like I feel like the Angels are probably our, our toughest matchup. Like, and like it's it's proven to be. Uh, Sevi, take us take us to the World Series, please. There we go. All right. So the Braves, 
Montas on the mound. Tyone, Montgomery. I'm thinking more of like a maybe something like that. I guess it also depends on like what was Cole right here or was it here? I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we can rock with maybe Cole in the two spot. And then, yeah, let's go like that. Okay, first of the Braves. We've, we've got to do it here. So we win the first, lose the second, win the third, win that one. All right, this is where it is. This is how we end it. This is where we win it. You know, like this is this is the end. All right, so I, I, we got to go Garrett Cole. We, we, we have to. Uh, team's looking a little tired, but not too bad. Not too bad. All right, can we do it? Can we win a triple? Like that's that's big. Sack fly, boom, perfect. One nothing. Let's take a look at their team. Albert Almora Jr. in center. Okay. Seth Brown at first. Okay. Matt Olson in the DH. Okay. So, so some new faces. Oh wow, that's not good to start it out. Two run score from Acuna. Oh boy, two to one. I mean, we do have a little bit of flexibility. Like we, I mean, like a little bit of, like a little bit of a buffer, right? We do have some space where. If we lose this game, it's not the end of the world. But, like, let's not lose the game, you know? There we go, Joey Gallo. Tie it up. Then Stanton goes back to back. There we are. Let's keep it going. Four to two? Yes. Give me more. Give me more. Two runs scored there. I think that was two. And then someone got thrown out going home. It's six to two. Double play. There we go. Perfect. Let's keep it going. That We go to the bullpen already. Bases loaded. No outs. Runner was thrown out going home. We got a little greedy. But it's okay. Another run scores. And we're up seven to two. Things are looking perfect. 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 I think that's I think that's kind of game. I feel like that's that's it. Um, I do see Garrett Cole's a little tired. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get greedy and I'm gonna let him pitch through seven. They do have Chad Green, it doesn't matter. We're we're winning this game. I gotta take him out. I know he's gonna be all grumpy that I took him out of the game, but it, it's just gotta happen. Uh Michael King's gonna come in, he's gonna shut the door, it's gonna be great. And now, in the eighth, can we add an insurance run or two? We can't. All right. So, seven to two. I mean, like, I feel like going to, like, hater is, like, not necessary. But I guess we, yeah, I guess we just stick with Michael King. And, oh. Huh. Now we're in a tough spot. I guess now we go to hater. Two run score. Oh, boy. But it doesn't matter. He closes it out. Game over. Garrett Cole, player of the game doesn't matter he's not going to win an award it's going to be brian reynolds playoff and world series mvp wow okay okay look let's take a look at our pitching how did everybody do i mean these two killed it actually the whole rotation unbelievable nestor didn't get used once in the postseason that's wild bullpen was a was a little iffy not gonna lie a little iffy and then the lineup what do we got here judge Four home runs. I, yeah, 11 RBIs. That's pretty good. Everybody, ah, Joey Gallo, yikes. Yikes. But yeah, 484 in the postseason. Good Lord. Good Lord. Brian Reynolds, key piece. Key piece. And the Yankees didn't win a World Series this year. But next year, there you guys go. You're, you're going to get it. You just got to make a couple big name acquisitions. And uh, you're good to go. Hater, Brian Reynolds, Frankie Montas. I think that wins you a World Series. At least it should according to MLB The Show. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, the mystery jersey rebuild, something like that. You, you guys know, you guys know it by now. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel for new and enjoy the content. And in the comment section, get involved. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Did you enjoy today's video? If you did, I've got another one for you right here. Boom, right there. Check it out. It's gonna be great. Recommend this one.